Got another organic mechanisms question for you to try. So we're up to number 12. There's the question there. So if you want to have a go at that, pause the video and then play on when you're ready for the answers. So we've got an example of electrophilic substitution here. The first thing that's going to happen is the two acids are going to react together to generate the electrophile, which will then interact with the benzene ring of benzoic acid. So there's the equation for that reaction, and we'll just highlight this. This nitronium ion, this NO2 plus ion, is going to act as the electrophile. So it's going to accept a pair of electrons from the pi electron cloud from the benzene ring. So we show that by drawing a curly arrow from the pi electron cloud, the delocalized ring of electrons, to the electrophile, and that's going to create the intermediate which looks like that. So important thing to remember here is that this partial electron cloud, I always say to my students, cover five carbons of the six of the benzene ring. So it's really important that this isn't too small. So five carbons means it's going to be big enough. One, two, three, four, five carbons covered. Don't forget that positive charge in the middle. The final product there, the three nitrobenzoic acid is telling us that the substitution is going to take place at that carbon there. So we put the NO2 group on, but we show, we also show the hydrogen that was already bonded there, but we didn't bother showing it there. But we're going to show it now because it's involved in the next part of the mechanism. So what happens next? A pair of electrons from this CH bond go back into the ring and they reform the pi electron cloud. So we draw a curly arrow from that bond back into the middle and that's going to give us our organic product and an H plus ion. So that's them there. And then the final thing we've got to do is show how the sulfuric acid behaves as a catalyst. So essentially because it's a catalyst we've got to reform it. So we're going to take the H plus ion and combine it with the HSO4 minus ion that was performed in that first reaction and that will reform, regenerate the sulfuric acid.